Hope open. Hope he find her. She's been employed by, by the city of Cleveland, trying to go and save people's lives. And, you know, here she comes up missing. The desperate search for this woman. You see her on your screen right here. 30-year-old Michelle Jordan it continues today. Her family says she went missing just days before she was expected to testify in a rape case. Police telling us her disappearance is suspicious and they believe she is in danger. Yeah, from sun up to sundown, Cleveland police, neighbors, co-workers all canvassing the Glenville neighborhood in hopes that the city EMT would turn up somewhere. A sign, a trace of her 19s. Noel Williams is live at EMS headquarters this morning. Good morning, Noel. Have we heard anything new right now? Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Shannon. We are still waiting to hear some more news, praying to hear some good news, but here's what you guys should look out for. Take a look at her missing sign. Cleveland police say she's 150 pounds, five foot two. She has dark brown eyes and black hair. And here's some more disturbing information. According to officials with Cleveland EMS Union, they say that she was being stalked and threatened while on the job. It got so bad, her supervisor pulled her from out on the fields. Police say 30-year-old Lachelle Jordan was last seen May 6 in the city's Glenville neighborhood. Police confirmed that she is a city EMT and that her disappearance is considered suspicious. A family member told 19 News that she was expected to testify in a rape case involving 65-year-old Michael Stinnett. However, court records show that Stinnett was arrested on Monday for violating a protection order and menacing by stalking. Mark Barrett, who is the president of the Cleveland EMS Union, says that Jordan was being stalked and threatened at work, but Cleveland police confirmed that there is no information connecting Stinnett to her disappearance. But we'll take a listen to what Barrett had to say. She has a twin sister that she didn't notify. Um, it certainly wasn't, you know, a, a planned. Um, something, so, something happened. She's she's missing. Police is begging everyone to look out for Jordan. They say she was last seen wearing a blue and white East Cleveland Fire Department sweatshirt. She also had on green and white tie-day pants and rainbowed, rainbow colored Crocs. While live outside Cleveland EMS, Noel Williams, 19 News. Noel, thank you. If you want to share Jordan's picture, here it is. We've been sharing it all over. Just go to our website or you can go to the 19 News app and make sure you stay with 19 News for continuing coverage on this. We also have a picture all over our social media pages. And of course, if any news breaks in this situation, you can look for updates here on air and also online.